see uh, that the VRAN suppliers, uh, looking at them now, are doing to advance, you know, these VRAN capabilities, Todd? Well, again, Ron, there's a lot of stuff going on. Samsung, one of the biggest players out there in mobile, is expanding its collaboration with Intel, which is a big deal. These are two major companies working together through a new product innovation agreement, allowing the companies together to continue advancing VRAN for enhanced performance and capacity. When these two companies do something together, it's going to make the needle move. Um, as part of their expanded collaboration, Samsung is going to integrate its VRAN 3 software with fourth gen Intel Xeon scalable processors that have that Intel VRAN boost to deliver advanced VRAN products. Offering increased capacity, Samsung's enhanced VRAN will be able to support more cells with the same number of servers, which is critical, which would bring the benefits of power savings and cost efficiency to network operators. This is a really big deal for them. Um, and along with the ecosystem partners, Samsung continues to deliver advanced virtualized network solutions powered by its latest VRAN 3.0 capabilities, such as its 200 megahertz three cell support for 64 T64R massive MIMO radios, power saving features, and improved automation. All these things are really important in this space. This can pave the way for operators to deploy a more versatile RAN solution. And in addition to its enhanced features, Samsung's VRAN also supports multiple radio access technology, or which is also called multi-RAT, across 2G, 4G, and 5G, which is giving great, greater flexibility in network operation. Yeah, those are all excellent points, Todd. And I'm impressed that uh, you're able to accurately pinpoint the name of the antenna that uh, Samsung is, is using. Uh, and this is all important because... In addition, Intel announced a strategic collaboration agreement with Ericsson to use Intel's 18A process and manufacturing technology for Ericsson's you know, next generation optimized 5G infrastructure. Now, as a part of this agreement, Intel will manufacture custom 5G socks uh, or system on chips for Ericsson to create their products uh, for their future 5G infrastructures. Now, Additionally, the companies will expand their collaboration to optimize, again, fourth gen Intel Xeon scale of processors with the Intel VRAN boost for Ericsson's cloud RAN proposition. And now this helps uh, CSPs potentially, again, to increase their network capacity while gaining those very valuable energy efficiency uh, gains while uh, also gaining that more scalability and flexibility in the process. It's again, it's an across the Ford benefits that are being delivered uh, with these new capabilities. Now, in addition, uh, I view the Ericsson Alliance as signaling confidence in Intel's 18A process and underscores the progress that Intel is making with its five nodes and four years roadmap to regain process leadership. Now, this is ambitious and it's something that really Intel had to do. But we're seeing, uh, you know, Intel CEO Pat Gelsinger delivering. And yes, the, the, the journey's not complete, but that obviously Intel had been in a bit, dug itself into a bit of a hole when it came to process leadership. But this is, I think, showing clearly that there is validation of, across the ecosystem, certainly with a major player like Ericsson, that Intel is indeed executing on its plan. Yeah. Now, I see 18As uh, as Intel's most advanced node on the company's uh, five nodes and four years roadmap. And after all, it's uh, introducing new gate all around transistor technology, also known as ribbon vet and backside power delivery, also uh, branded power via. And that first appeared in Intel 20A or will, but Intel will now deliver the ribbon architecture innovation and increased performance along with continued metal line width reduction in 18A. Now combined, these technologies could put Intel back in that process leadership position by 2025, potentially augmenting future offerings for its customers when they bring them to market. So again, we're looking at a two-year span here before you know, the jury can come back, uh, so to speak. But again, you know, this is exciting and it's showing that execution is advancing.